Hi, this is Michael Tanell with the UGET Download Manager. And this video is to show you how to use the new uh, UGET ex integration extension for Google Chrome and Chromium. Uh, I want to first off thank Rogue Pinnell for making this extension possible. And um, yeah, let's get to it. So once you have it installed, you can go to the extensions page, which is, you know, cheeseburger, tools, extensions, and then click on the options button link. Yeah. And um, you can see all the options for the extension. Now these extensions are, I mean, what? What? Anyway, these options are for sending parameters to you get and various things like that. So, for example, we're gonna we're gonna you can add the quiet, the quiet parameter, which will make it where it's it doesn't do pop up dialog boxes that you know give you options. It'll just automatically start downloading. And there's many other options that we could cover later. Uh, this is just a quick overview. So. Uh, you can change and add any of the parameters you want that you get supports, or just leave it as default because, well, you can. It works perfectly fine with the default. So let's go to a file down <coughs> to download. Excuse me. So we're going to get the latest episode of the Linux Action Show and scroll down to the f download files. We're going to right click the, the link, click You Get Link. It's going to bring up this dialog box. You can just click OK, or you can go through the options and you know, change however you want. That's a different video, really. You click OK, and now it's going to start downloading. That's pretty much it, as far as you know that option. But first, we're going to go ahead and delete that file for now, and uh, we're going to go. We're going to now talk about the uh, download a lot all files at once. So in any instead of clicking on a link like this, you can click the link and it'll just do that one link. Or you can just click anywhere on the page and now you can click you get all links. And all links will open up this fold this uh, window and it'll show you not only all media links but every link in general. So what I would do is now uncheck all of these and we're going to scroll down to find, well you don't have to scroll down typically, I'm just going to do it anyway to show you the example of it. See the pod track link, see it's got an M4V, MP4, MP3, AUG, etc. You can just type in uh, M4V, MP4, MP3, AUG, or whatever else you want and then click check and it will check only those files only those links that have those extensions and this is a massive time saver especially if you're going to download multiple mp3 files or multiple mp4 files or whatever you just type in what you want to download and you don't have to type them all in you could just type in that one and uh, you just type in that one click check and it's going to check that one or if it has multiple of the same format it's going to download all of them or check all of them. Then you just click download and it's going to open up that same dialog box. If you have multiple it's going to open up a slightly different box but the same thing goes. But I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. You get all links. That's the wrong one. So we're going to uncheck them all. I'm just going to take the M4V and the MP3s. Check that. Download. And as you see, it's going to give you a different window. You just click forward, and it's going to change in the, the, the one you're used to seeing. And now we're just going to click OK. 
and it's going to start downloading both of those files at once. So this is the same thing would happen for um, you know any file you want to do. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's how you use the you get integration extension for Google Chrome and Chromium. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the extension.